Hello, this is a tutorial video for the Bufferometric plugin for WordPress. This plugin can post automatically to Buffer each time you publish a new post on your blog, or you can also post uh, the publish posts manually from your blog. So let's get started configuring the plugin. To install it, click plugin, Plugins, Add New, Upload Plugin, Choose File. Navigate to the zip file you downloaded from Code Canyon. If you uh, downloaded also the documentation in the zip file, you should extract the big zip file and get the installable plugin uh, archive from it and install that one. After installation, activate the plugin. Now we can go to plugin settings. Here we should enter first our uh, buffer client ID and buffer client secret. To get one, click here. Here we can create our buffer app. If you already have a buffer app, you can click register apps. But let's create a new one. Title, description, homepage, Callback URL. Callback URL should be the same as this one. This uh, will be you. You will be instructed by the plugin how to fill out the callback URL and hit create application. A website field is required. Okay, no problem. <coughs> Uh, you will get the client ID directly here. You can enter the client ID and the client secret will be emailed to you to your email account. So the email account that is uh, as, uh, registered with this buffer account will get an email and in that email you will get also the client secret. I will pause this video and get the email and get the secret from it. Okay, I opened the email and copied the client secret from it and then paste it here in plugin settings. Now we have to click save app info and we can go now to post to buffer and because we already made everything that is set here, we can click authorize the app. Now click Allow Access and the plugin is fully configured now. It can post to buffer automatically. Uh, we can now uh, select to which pages from buff buffer we wish to post content. So if we go to our buffer account, let's log in. <clears throat> so no posts in any of my free queues so let's select I want to pub publish to Facebook and to LinkedIn and I will explain the rest of settings immediately just let's make a test post to these both pages so let's select both pages to select mul multiple entries Hold down Control and click on both. Then we can go to Post, Add New. So let's go ahead and create a test post. Sample test post to buffer with some content to it, maybe also a featured image. Uh, from here. Okay, I'll put this away a bit. Okay, now we are ready to publish our first post to Buffer. And if we hit publish, the request was sent to Buffer. And if we refresh our Buffer account, we should see in a minute so it is not instantly added but if we have a bit of patience 
post should appear. So we can refresh this. Oh, oh. so yeah. The posts are submitted to buffer. Sample test post to buffer. Sample test post to buffer. Okay. I'm not sure why. Ah, yeah. It's it was a bug. It was not two. It was a one. Okay. So sample test post to buffer and sample test post to buffer. We can delete this from both ways. And now we can go and check settings. So in plugin settings, we have uh, delay posting by amount of seconds. This will delay the uh, posting after you publish to the post on your WordPress blog with X seconds. So if you say here 10, then the post will be submitted to buffer after 10 seconds after you publish your uh, post on WordPress. Use a sync posting method. If you check this, then the plugin will uh, post to buffer in the background. If you don't check this, the posting process will wait until posting to buffer is finished. If you don't have uh, time or patience, you can check this and the posting process will be sped up. Post only images. If you check this, only images will be posted without textual content. Here you can select which pages you want to post to buffer. Maximum post count per time interval and maximum post count time interval. You can set how many posts should be posted at maximum per this amount of minutes. So if I set here 60, for example, and here 10, then uh, the plugin will post at maximum 10 posts every 60 minutes. If I put here 120, the plugin will post 10 posts every 120 minutes, and so on. Okay, here you can choose the post description template. You can use these short codes to edit this uh, settings. So variable content, featured image, everything from the post. And you can change the template that is sent to buffer. Media attachment title and description. The same thing, you can use shortcodes to edit them. The same shortcodes are available also here. Disable automatic link shortening. If you check this, buffer will not shorten your links automatically. Post updates instantly. If you check this, the updates will be posted instantly to your social network and not put to the queue of the buffer. Add to the top of the buffer queue. If you check this, post will be added to the top. If you uncheck it, post will be added to the bottom of the buffer queue. Text post only if you don't want to post images. Publish app the update at this time. If you want to uh, tell Buffer to uh, put your post in a queue in a lower uh, position, so let's say I want to uh, I want to post today a post on my WordPress, but publish it in Buffer only tomorrow. In this case, I put here plus one day. If I put here plus one day, then uh, the buffer will be the queue will be added here on Tuesday, not uh, so sorry, tomorrow. Yeah, okay, so let's check this out. Let's put here one plus plus one day and let's save settings and let's see what will happen. So let's post only to our Facebook page for simplicity and let's create another test post another test post and publish it <clears throat> and let's go to buffer to wait what will arrive there 
so the post is published instantly now to Butler because we did not set here uh, the posting method uh, to delay to be delayed however buffer will receive this as you can see it is not put here it is already in but it is not put in the first position in the buffer but it is put on tomorrow so it is put later okay now let's get back to our settings let's delete this import media from posted uh, article links so if you check this and you don't have a media attachment attached to your buffer posts then buffer will import from posted links disable auto posting of pages post pages and custom post types if you check these, then auto posting of these types will be disabled. Show height categories to disable auto posting of these categories. Disable auto posting of tags. You can input a comma separated list of tags to disable posting for these tags. And variable content shortcode. This can be used in, uh, if you check here, sorry, here. If you check here, then you can use these short codes in the description at, and these uh, short codes, these settings fields. So what is this? <coughs> here you can define a variable content uh, short code. So there's a chance that this will be displayed and the chance can be set in the occurrence rate. So this is a percentage uh, in which the shortcode will be filled with the content and posted. So if we enter here 50 and we enter here hello, then if we use this shortcode in 50% of cases we'll get hello and in 50% of cases we'll get nothing. So this will be useful for content diversification okay so now let's save settings and go ahead to main settings because we have also here some additional settings to use purchase code from Inveto you can enter here your purchase code for the plugin and you will enable automatic updates for it from WordPress and enable logging, detailed logging. I will show you what these two uh, generate. These two generate logs for the activity and logging section. And we go here in a moment. Automatically clear logs after a period. Timeout for running if the uh, post, if the posting process to buffer takes more than this amount of seconds, it will be automatically stopped and shorten exported URLs using Bitly using this access token. And if we go to activity and logging section, we can see system info, restore plugin default settings. And here is the activity log that can be switched on and off from the settings I showed you before from the main settings. Okay, so this is all for this plugin. This is a really useful plugin if you are a buffer user. And it will help you tremendously because you can configure to delay posting to buffer and also delay uh, posting inside of buffer and to put uh, posts in a lower position in queue. You can post uh, instantly, you can put on the top of the buffer queue, on the bottom of the buffer queue, and you can also edit uh, settings quite a lot. <clears throat> So yeah, um, this is all for this plugin for now. Uh, I hope you will enjoy it. And until next time, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Have a nice day. Bye bye.